Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. It's my pleasure to meet you, too. You, too. And thanks for doing this in front of everybody. I know it's, it's, uh, it's a little overwhelming, but um, thank you so much for doing this. And nurse, how are you doing? I'm good. My yeah. name is Joanne. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Alba. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's great to be here. Is this your first shot? Yes, this is my first shot. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you're doing it. And nurse, what, why is it important that everyone gets their shots? Why so we can end this pandemic? <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the other side of this and get, get life back on the road. Exactly. These yeah. shots, they work. They're safe, painless, as you're about to see. And they're going to save your own life and save the lives of others. And we've just got to do this till we get past this. And exactly. thank you for showing everyone the way to do it. So let's see thank it. You. Let's see it. Okay. So let's see what you see. Let's get this all ready for you. Okay. Yeah, I, I did it twice. It's, it's all good. Oh, you did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How, how do you feel about having having your vaccine? What are you looking forward to? Um, looking forward to getting your second one. Yes, sharing it with your community. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to have my second dose of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I want to be a part of ending this pandemic, right. so I'm getting vaccinated. Thank yes. you. And thank you for this doing it so everyone can see it. Mm -hmm. Sending such a great message to the rest of your community and the state and hopefully the country at how important it is to get your vaccine. And thank you, nurse, for all the work you're doing. I know this year has been mm -hmm. so hard for you and all your fellow nurses and frontline healthcare workers during this pandemic. And we just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts from the administration. We see you, we know what you're doing. And uh, we can't thank you enough for all you're doing. Make sure you take thank care of you. yourself, too. Because I know you're taking care of everyone else, but you got to make sure you're taking care of yourself as well. Definitely. Okay. Well, thank you so thank much you. for letting me watch this. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Thank you for being here. Thank you it means so a lot. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. How are you, Bruce? Okay. Are you going to kick us off? Well, welcome. Um, it's, it's really, first of all, it's wonderful to be here uh, at the Community Health Center. You all are terrific. Uh, my Community Health Center staff uh, is welcome to second gentleman, uh, Mr. Emhoff. Uh, by the way, it's exciting to have you here, but I don't want anything to go to your head. They did not stop vaccinating uh, today. I hope not. <laughs> no, it's, I knew we knew you would, but over 100 folks have been vaccinated so today. Uh, and of course, the reason uh, Mr. Amphoff is here uh, is reflecting the Biden administration has an agenda. Get on top of COVID, COVID, COVID. The path back to normalcy is for us to conquer this incredible once in a century pandemic. And we're doing it. Uh, the administration in Washington, with bipartisan support, has funded vaccines that have provided the wherewithal for Vermont to start injecting vaccines in arms. And we're making great progress here. And Mr. Emhoff's uh, presence is an indication of how it continues to be absolutely vital for every Vermonter to get the vaccine and for every Vermonter to encourage other Vermonters who may have some hesitation about a vaccine to get it because that vaccine is good for their health but it's good for the health of the family it's good for the health of the people they love so we really appreciate all that the administration has done and the final thing I want to say, and, you know, Mr. Emhoff, you said this in our back room, 
Washington is a tough place these days, but our job in some ways is very simple. It's to get the resources back to Vermont and to our communities where the really hard work is done. Because to get that Vermonter to come in, or Dr. Stein, to get the mobile facility to go out to the Vermonter to make certain the vaccine when delivered is kept safe, to have the logistics to set up the appointments, that is all work that has to be done carefully and day in and day out. So I think all of us want to salute all of you here at the Community Health Center, but we also want to salute our community organizations that are doing so much to encourage citizens to get uh, their shot. We, uh, we thank you again for taking the time to come today, and I'd like to turn it over to you for a few words. Uh, well, no. So, Governor, thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Um, getting to spend some time with you. This is not a partisan issue at all. This is an American issue. We have to get through this as a country, and you in Vermont, the leaders here, uh, state, local, federal, are showing the way on how we can all do this. You just come together and solve a, one of the worst problems we've ever had as a country, and it's just so inspiring for me to see you all working together on so many levels. I'm gonna hear from the, uh, the frontline workers who are actually putting their lives on the line and their own safety on the line to do this work. And all of you out there, the health healthcare workers, just thank you on behalf of the administration. We know it's been such a difficult year for you and the work that you've done, and you probably haven't taken good enough care of yourself because you've been taking care of everyone else. So please take time to do that. But we're, as the governor said, we're close. We are so close, but we can't let our guard down. As the president likes to say, you gotta mask up. We gotta continue to follow the science, socially distance. And one of the reasons I'm here is get the vaccines. Get the vaccines now. They're open to everybody. Uh, we will make sure that there's enough supply. We were talking about that uh, with the governor, that everyone can get one. And we are close, but we are not there. And you kind of see some of the numbers spiking up around the country where folks are letting their guard down a little bit. This is not the time to let your guard down. This is the time to get us over the finish line as one united country like we're seeing here in Vermont. So I want to thank you all. I also want to thank my friends uh, back in D.C., your great senators, Senator Chairman Bernie Sanders and uh, Senator Leahy. I know them both very well. I know their spouses, and I'm, I'm just proud to call them friends. And, and it's amazing that you have two un incredible senators, a former mayor here in Burlington, so it's great. And as the governor said, I grew up uh, in New Jersey, and I used to come skiing at, at Stratton and Killington uh, several times a winter. My dad, uh, somehow back in the 60s, decided to get these little kids skiing and tell the governor back then, they just, you know, he laced up my little boots, strapped me in on my little wood skis, and they, the, the lessons were basically like they pushed me down the mountain and said, don't fall. Like, okay. So great memories of this state, and I uh, hope to come back uh, in the near, near term. But enough for me. I want to hear from our, our guests here, and uh, I want to kick it over to Dr. Stein, and uh, let's hear from you on the wonderful work you're doing here at the Community Center. So thank you all for having me. Well, I am Heather Stein. I'm the Chief Medical Officer here at the Community Health Centers, and we are so excited to have all of you here because I can't say enough wonderful things about the staff that's here in this building and our other six sites, the staff that's currently doing outreach to the homeless community, the staff that's caring for our, our gender-affirming treatment and youth populations, the staff that's at our rural clinic in the islands. Uh, we have staff that have, over the last year, stepped into roles that they couldn't have imagined, and they've done it with smiles on their faces and um, with really clear guidance and support from the state and local governments. And it has been an incredible experience to work with the cities that we have clinics in and that we serve and to work with our community partners to help identify where we are needed, where we need to go to set up a vaccine clinic that's not served somewhere else, where there are barriers to transportation for testing or for care, and to continue through all of that to give high quality, integrated, 
primary care with mental health treatment, opiate use disorder treatment, gender affirming treatment to our entire population. And we have always had a really special place with the, with the new American community. They're all directed to us and we take that responsibility very seriously. They are a population that we love to care for and that we want to make sure that we are giving the best care for. And it has been wonderful to work with, particularly the health department and the, um, the outreach groups and the multilingual task force who have given us so many resources and helped us to staff the vaccine information session.